So guys, my piece in the video. I'm gonna have to go fast to fit all of this in. Um, jump right into it now. Atlanta Beach. Uh, definitely can tell they're an expansion team. Very young, unestablished, you know. Uh -huh, shaky of them. Uh, they have Whitworth in goal. Played great with the pride. Blanked LA at one point was 0-0. Be wary of her. She's gonna be awesome. Um, but still not really battle tested. Uh, their defense, um, major hit with Monty McCoskey gone. Um, she d d has a season-ending injury, probably like ACL, I think. Um, played with L.A. Soul. She, I was pegging her as their big, big, big leader, but she's out, so it's going to have to follow Leanne Robinson. Um, you know, she's definitely going to have to step up. Really sad to see McCoskey out. Um, craziness surrounding Tobin Heath. She's been injured for, <laughs> not injured, my bad, ill for who knows how long, um, sick all through March, like, probably February, got sick before the Algarve Cup, nuttiness, who knows if, she even, who knows if she's even gonna play, so, that's terrible, um, you know, as their front line, I mean, things, they have names like Snolly, Bachman, Zerboni, Yamaguchi, like, Roseman, or whatever the, any that, Ocampo, too, they have names, but nothing really, really battle-tested, so, kind of afraid for them, um, moving into Boston, though, they are going to be scary, um, no real big goalkeepers that I recognize, but Alyssa the uh, Air, I probably pronounced that horrible, um, and Allison Lipshire, uh, their defense is what's going to be phenomenal with them, Alex Scott, Stephanie Cox, Amy LaPelvet, they're going to be phenomenal, um, I'd say compare them to the Canadian national team defense, um, in terms of production, the, nas the Canadian defense is insane, so, and they seem to be pretty insane, huh? The midfield, of course, Kelly Smith can play forward or mid. English or national insanity. Um, a plastic Christine Lee for making her way back into the national team. Great for her. Glad to see her there. She needs to totally be crazy step up as a leader. Um, didn't see a g good load of it last year. Um, so definitely her up there. Leslie Osborne is back with the, is coming to the uh, the breakers. Um, good to see her there. Um, gonna be awesome. Uh, another over from the pride, Tiffany Weimer. Um, who knows what happened with her in Montoya? We may never know what the heck was going on, but um, it'll be good to see her like in a new team and be very wary of Tiffany Weimer. Also up top, Lauren Cheney. Been playing phenomenally. Great to see her zooming around everywhere, you know? Um, okay, I'm gonna jump into Chicago. Oh, I gotta hurry up, okay. Um, Jill Lloyd and played behind Hope Solo. Pretty good keeper, eh? Comparing her to Allison Whitworth, same kind of story. Um, their defense, Whitney Engine. Okay, you know, maybe. Who knows? Unbalanced. They play with UNC. Who the heck knows about her? Um, but the big thing is Kate Marcraft. They needed a solid, they had really no real solid, solid leadership, so great to see Markraft in there. He's definitely going to be able to hold them a little bit better together. Um, still no high hopes for Chicago this season, so sorry. Um, their midfield, Megan Rapino gets caught up in flair a lot and needs to just go at defenders and stop showing off with their fancy footwork. Sometimes it's like, you can overdo it. <laughs> but, um, great player regardless, one of my favorites. Um... They grab for makeup, not a final for makeup, but who knows. Um, Brittany Klein, she made the All Star, so back in GB, yay. And uh, Katie Chapman, I've been hearing a lot of things about Katie Chapman, so. <laughs> um, up top, Case Nugger, watch her, be amazing this year, girl. She's been inconsistent in the past, but I think she's going to be doing fairly well this time around. Christiane, not a big fan, but who knows. And uh, Karen Carney, also very good. Um, the other expansion, Philly Independence. Um, how terrible can they be? Karina LeBlanc in goal. Um, Elson Falk in front of her, great pairing there. Um, yeah, Heather Mitz is injured, won't be at the opening game, but, um, you know, still there. <laughs> uh, their midfield, uh, Lori Lindsay is the big one there. Um, great possessive, like, presence. Um, she's definitely breaking down doors in the national team, so great to see her. And of their forward story is Amy Rodriguez. She's going to be starving to prove everybody wrong, show that she's not a uh, flatlining rookie bombshell. <laughs> She's gonna be, like, vicious. Like, look out for A-Rod. She's gonna be on fire. It's gonna be awesome. Um, moving on to St. Louis Athletica. Another team to be reckoned with there. Hope Solo, of course, back there. Um, no, like, massive defensive names. They have Tina Ellerton, Kendall Fletcher, Nikki Cross. All great defenders. Ellerton, especially. Quite good. Um, 
their midfield is what is scary about Athletica. Um, Shannon Box and Larks let me lead in the charge. I am Yama behind them, you know. Um, craziness involving troops and concussions, but um, there has been a release that she will probably start, so great to see her back in there. Um, great to see her paired with Boxy, eh? Up top, Nua Luko. Gotta mention her. Oh my goodness. Um, they also have Lindsay Tarpley, but Lindsay Tarpley and Daniela are on injury leave, won't be eligible to play till June. Keep that in mind. Um, Sky Blue FC, reigning champs. Gonna be awesome for them. I did hear Jenny Branham fractured her leg or broke her leg. Oh my goodness, horrible hit for the Sky Blue FC. Terrible. Oh my god, that just sucks. Branham is like my hero. She's insane. Um, sad to see her out for a little while there. Um, their defensive line, you know, Anita Sante. Um, Brittany Taylor seems to be doing alright. Megan Schnorr, the other two players that are kind of making their way back into into the national team. A little bit smidgen. Um, not big fans of them, but who knows. Chrissy Rampone out for a little bit on maternity leave. She'll probably be back real quick. I mean, come on, she's a Rampone. Um, their midfield, I mean, you've got names. You've got Casey White, you've got Yale Arabich. Um, the big stories there are Heather O'Reilly and Carly Lloyd. Lloyd came over from Chicago. Um, she wears 10 for a reason. Playmaker. Um, Sky Lucy had some, like, troubles with the center, so great to see they patched that up nicely. And Heather O'Reilly, the way she goes at defenders is just unparalleled. It's amazing. Gotta love Heyo. Um, and up top, Natasha Kai. She got her shoulders fixed in offseason. TK is gonna be beasting. On fire. Wanting to get back into the uh, World Cup. So look out for her. Washington Freedom. They have Aaron McCullough for the whole season this time. That's great. It's always a good thing, <laughs> having your keeper. Um, Cat Whitehill, huge threat with her free kicks and things, and great defender all around. Um, yeah, Alex Singer was alright, Becky Sarabran alright, Nikki Marshall, I don't know who she is, Chrissy Evelyn, eh, she's alright. You know, they got Brittany Bach from LA, um, injuries surrounding her foot, but um, she seems to be alright, eh? Um, midfield starting bone past door, I mean, goodness, that little French player is like in insane. Um, Sarah Huffman is going to have to step up and fill the gap left by Lori Lindsay, she's gonna have to. Uh, Hermara Sawa, I'm not a big fan of her, but whatever. Um, forwards, Abby Wambach, that's all I gotta say about that. Christy Welsh and Lisa Devana are up there too. Um, Devana had more of a super sub role last season. Who knows if she'll keep it or be working her way into the startup. To finish off with my team, FC Gold Pride, um, I'm extremely, extremely nervous about the Pride. My biggest fear is that Martin and Abilene are gonna have to carry the whole team. Please do not let that happen. Oh my goodness, I will cry. <laughs> They've got Barney and back. Nicole Barnhart, gotta love her. Rachel Bueller is finally found a partner. Candace Chapman. They're gonna be awesome. The Bulldozer. Candace Chapman. Oh, goodness. It's gonna be awesome. Um, Candace Wilson is back. That's amazing for the Pride. Her injury is what. Her injury started the down roll. Two month. No winning drought. Terribleness. So great to see her back and healthy. Um, their midfield. I don't know, they got a Norwegian player. Norway has a nice style, so who knows. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name, so don't ask me. <laughs> uh, Kim Yorker is going to watch her, love watching her coming into herself. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my god, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Kim Appley, dirt that I are. <laughs> um, their front line is what's major. Marta, Sinclair, O'Hara, Milbert. Dude, really? That's just unfair. So... I'm going to cut it down now. It's probably gone over already. Watch it. Tomorrow, or Saturday, this is really late on Friday night, so today, maybe even, Washington versus Boston. Sunday, the other three games. Um, televised game is Sky Blue Chicago. Um, I'm going to try and call the games right now. Washington, Boston. I'm going to go with Boston, but I'm rooting for freedom. The televised Sky Blue Sea is going to win over Chicago, no doubt. The Pride is going to beat St. Louis. Uh uh. And uh, who are the other two? Oh, the expansion teams. I'm going to go with Philly over Atlanta. Atlanta beat Philly in the preseason, but I think it's going to be different. Alright. Peace out. Watch the game. It's going to be awesome. If you're thinking